You might be surprised how few Costa Rica resorts are right on the beach. But El Mangrove is one of those rare exceptions. Plus, it's probably Costa Rica's most accessible beach resort. But is it any good? Today I'm going to tour you through this resort and share my experience here and also give you a lightning tour of a few more Costa Rica beach resort options so you can make the best choice. If you're new here, I'm Don and I make videos about the world's most unique hotels so you can book your next escape with confidence. El Mangrove is less than a half hour from Liberia home to Costa Rica's second major international airport, making it one of Costa Rica's most convenient resorts to get to. As I drive into this 120-room resort, I don't think the grounds are super special. But there was a nice welcome from the manager, and the check-in area has some nice design features. The room's a quick three-minute walk from reception. I'll admit, Today's video is more of a walking tour because I was wiped out after 25 resort stays in Costa Rica. Usually I share more personal experiences, but today I'm keeping it simple. My goal is to help you decide if this place suits you, and I think video is the best way for you to see that. There are two pools here, this one that runs between the main restaurant and the beach. One of my biggest disappointments about this place is the beach. There are almost no waves and it's just not very inspiring. Costa Rica has some world-class beaches and this is not one of them. There's also a lot of non-hotel folks hanging around who want to sell you something. But I do like how the hotel has set up these nice loungers close to the beach that feel a bit more private. You will not starve here. I give the resort high marks for giving you a variety of dining options, starting with Macaco, I think, which is the all-day dining venue with a mix of Costa Rican and international dishes. Matisse is the resort's open-air restaurant and bar. I like the sand floor that gives the place a laid-back feel. This is more of a lunch and late afternoon dining venue, and probably the best place to get plastered at the resort. The second pool, or I guess set of pools I should say, runs from the beach to the resort's third restaurant. Malu is your third dining option here, a Mediterranean restaurant behind the second pool. Think wood-fired pizza, pastas, fish, and other Mediterranean staples. As you can probably tell, I am not wild about this place. There's nothing terribly wrong with it, it just feels a bit bland and forgettable. And if you're going to come all this way, why not make your vacay something unforgettable? So I feel like I owe you a bit more. You're probably here because you want a great beach getaway. I totally get that. I have a whole video about why so few Costa Rica resorts are not right on the beach, but here's my lightning guide to Costa Rica's best beach resorts that really are right on the beach. Right up the road and twice as good is the Andaz that I really liked, but it's a bit pricier than this place. A great mid-range option is Nantipa that's south of here with a great beach and modern design. Arenas del Mar is another great mid-range option with a fully immersive zoo experience. And maybe the best hidden gem is Hotel Aguas Claras on Costa Rica's less touristy Caribbean side that has a beach, but you do have to walk down this path to get there. I hope these suggestions are helpful. If so, please subscribe. Thanks. So that was my last individual Costa Rica resort video, but I have a lot more coming. Videos where I pick Costa Rica's best luxury, premium, and bargain resorts, plus my video on whether or not you should rent a car here. 
it was quite an adventure for sure. Check out my car rental experience and tips on how to save money here. Thanks for watching and see us in the next video.